Okay. Beat him. I'm gonna show y'all boys where I'm from, man. I'm from that. What's the deal, baby? Y'all didn't know who it is. That big boss how boss down. Can't poke through the dope. Gonna talk to the box before I get about some lily. Never tough times don't last. Good people do. Don't knock yourself. Caught them in that fight line. Maybe you matter. Peep game. Peep game. Eddie Falls on what? Swain. Jam Boosin it says Brian Norman Jr. Ducked him. Basically. He ain't saying it like that, but that's what he's saying. Let's talk about it. So, Brian, uh, <laughs> not Brian. Jaron Ennis was interviewed by Watson Sports Media, and he basically said, he was asked a question about Brian Norman and, you know, about a fight. And Jaron was in and said, We sent an offer. I kept it straight like that. We sent the offer. We ain't heard nothing back from them. <laughs> you know, that's, that's how he, he kept it short and sweet. We sent an offer. Right? So, that's Boots, you know, side of the story. Brian Norman Jr. and Sr., they said, hey, we accepted the fight, but we sent a counter offer. Right? So, he said something along the lines, we sent a counter offer back. We'll fight you next. We just sent a counter offer. You know what I mean? Now, granted, I don't know what the kind of offer entails. It may be just, hey, they want more money. They want, they want more revenue. And, you know, maybe a fight like that, you know, you see the value. You know what I'm saying? And as far as being a unification, that's a big fight. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely understand, you know, sending a kind of offer, more money, right? But, um... The question is, I, for y'all, I got who do y'all believe? I want y'all to answer in the comment section below. Me personally, I believe Brian Norman Jr. and Senior. I feel like they will fight Boots, right? That's what I feel like, okay? Um, I feel like Boots is not directly involved in the negotiations, right? Which a lot of fighters aren't. They just allow their handlers to do whatever they need to do, right? I don't know if Bozy is involved in the negotiations. I'm not going to lie to you. But if they just rely on Eddie Hearn, right? If they just rely on Eddie to get this fight made and, and negotiate, then yeah, I can see where there can be uh, conflicting statements. You know what I'm saying? Because Eddie Hearn has shown deception before. You know what I'm saying? He sat here and said certain things and... You know, it, it not to be true. You got know what I mean? So, it's, it kind of, and this goes back to why I said Boots shouldn't have signed with Eddie Hearn. It doesn't make sense. You got know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. You know, like, I don't understand why he signed with Eddie Hearn. And if you sign in, and, and let me just say this here. I'm tired of these fighters signing their life away for a check. I get it. You know, you getting this money, but... If you want to talk about legacy, right? Now, if, you, if you're if you a fighter, you don't care about legacy, cool. But if you're talking about legacy, a guy of Jim Boots in his caliber shouldn't have signed with no damn Eddie Hearn, in my opinion. And I know I'm probably going to get some backlash, but, hey, I don't run for no smoke. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know boss. All I'm saying at the end of the day is I feel like Boots, as talented as he is, either should have just bet on himself and just ran with the Boots promotions and maybe had some type of financial advisor, you know what I mean? Some type of manager or something to just, you know, a Shelly Finkel or something, you know what I'm saying? Or uh, Al Heyman or whatever. And he could have just been Boots, uh, Boots promotions presents, da 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 you know? But signing with Eddie, it's like, uh, but like I said, I don't know the ins and outs of the deal he got with Eddie. I don't know. If it's just like a partnership deal, I don't know, you know, the details of it, you know. But all I'm saying is his boots should kind of be fighting wherever he want to. You know, he should be fighting on the zone, Amazon Prime, ESPN. He's that talented. He's that great. You get what I mean? So I just I disagree with the whole signing with Eddie Hearn, you know, type thing. Because Eddie Hearn ain't solid, bro. I don't know why they keep signing to this white dude, man. He 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 ain't he ain't that he ain't he ain't him, bro. You know what I mean? And that's just real talk, in my opinion. He ain't him. 
as a promoter. He don't know how to handle Americans, especially black Americans. Yeah, he can handle them English Americans like the Anthony Joshua's, the Dubois, and you know, all of them. But he can do that over there. Over here, he don't know the culture and the market and how to move a black fighter in America. He don't know how to do that. You got I me? Mean? And that's just real talk. I actually was shocked Boots signed with Eddie Hearn. I'm not going to lie to you. I was like, what? I was expecting Boots to either like, I'm like, Boots got his own promotional company. Uh, I, I was expecting Boots to just be Boots Promotions and maybe have some like, you know, financial advisor. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, Shelly Finkel or, you know, all of them. I, you know, that's what I was thinking. Because I'm like, he, he already got his promotional company. And he already doing like big numbers. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look what he did in Philly. You know? And a lot of people want to see Boots fight. Boots could come down here to Texas and he going to do good numbers. You know what I'm saying? Like, boys fool with Boots down here. Real talk. You know what I'm talking about? So, I think that um, when it comes to this particular fight with him and Brian Norman, you know, for starters, I, I think Boots stops Brian Norman. I'm not going to lie to you. But <laughs> I just think that Boots don't know the 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 other side, and he just kind of trusting in his team. You know what I mean? Like I said, I don't know who's in these negotiations. I don't know if his dad is involved too. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't know. I I'll, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I know. You know, I think the only people that probably would know is the people. <laughs> that directly deal with boots directly you know what i mean i don't know but right now i'm just giving my opinion right now okay in my opinion i'm not sitting here saying i'm right i think that um i gotta i i partially believe the normans you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna lie to you i don't think a contract was sent or I say this, I think a contract was sent, and I think when they sent that counter offer, Eddie Hearn and them probably was like, we not paying them that. So we just gonna tell Boots that they ain't wanna fight. That could be the case, right? But we just need to, I, I just need them to be truthful with Boots if that was the case. Don't just tell Boots like, hey man, they ain't wanna fight. You know what I'm saying? Don't just tell them, oh, hey, they don't want to fight. You know, be real. Hey, they sent a counter offer. I think that counter offer is a little too high. So we're going to keep negotiating, you know, to try to get, you know, this fight over the hill. I genuinely think they just want Boots to fight that Karen dude. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think. And Boots is a talented guy. He needs the big fights, bro. You know what I mean? He needed he all these other fights, he over that. You know what I'm saying? It's time for him to get in them big fights. We want to see Boots against Crawford. We want to see Boots against Brian Norman, Mario Barrios. We want to see all that. You know what I mean? Now, as the name gets bigger, you're gonna have to throw a little bit more chicken out. You know what I'm saying? Like Mario Barrios, you probably gonna have to pay a little more. You know what I mean? But Brian Norman, I mean, yeah, he a champion, but what all has he really done in the sport of boxing, right? No, I don't think no fighter's afraid of any fighter. I'm just speaking solely on the contract talks, right? Because if I do a fight prediction on that, like I told you, Boots, I think Boots stops Brian Norman. I think Brian Norman will be strong early, but I think by the fifth round, Boots going to... Show them that it's levels. You know what I mean? And that's just what I see. But I genuinely, I think, I if I what makes more sense, and I'm just going off the history of Eddie Hearn, I got to believe the Normans. You know what I mean? I don't think Brian Norman duck boots in this. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't. Their statement makes more sense than, you know, uh, I say, and, and, and Boots didn't really say a lot. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying what they said is like, okay. Boots stuff was like, hey, hey we said a contract. 
We send a contract, you know. Uh, now, nah, all that other stuff that Norman was talking about, oh, you think you the boogeyman and all that, like, man. I won't say Boots is the boogeyman, but I say he close to it. Because boys think twice about fighting him. You know what I'm saying? Look how Crawford acted. Terrence Crawford, like, man, man he, man, he get hit too much. Right? Y'all sitting there saying he get hit too much and, you know, this, that, and the third, but then you go fight. Uh, you, you trying to explain how you fighting Israel Madrimov and how you fought David Avenesian in the past and you fighting all these different no-name fighters that you know you could demolish. But then when it comes to boots, ah, man, you know, man, you know. So, I don't know, man. I think boots is not being told the 100% truth. I think whoever, and if it's just Eddie Hearn, like I said, if it's just Eddie, I don't know. I don't know who's doing the negotiations. You know, maybe more information will come out later. You know what I'm saying? But if it's just Eddie Hearn, solely Eddie Hearn, and Eddie Hearn and matchroom people negotiate with Brian Norman, I'm telling you, there's, there's some stuff they left out. And they're not telling Boots everything. That's just, that's just what I feel. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, though. But like I say, if it comes down to the fight, if they were to fight, I think Boots stops for a Brian Norman. That's just what it is. I respect Brian Norman for, you know, wanting to take this fight. Because I do believe he wants that fight. You know what I mean? It's an opportunity for him. You know, opportunity for him to get his name out there and show that he one of the best. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep it a thaw while. But I don't think he got nothing for Boots. Boots too skillful, too big. Boxing IQ. You know what I mean? Like, it's finna be, it's, it's gonna be a wrap. <laughs> I, like I say, Norman gonna start off good. But then after that, wrap. We're gonna be wrapped up like a burrito. That's what it is, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Who do y'all believe? Let's go.